Hi, how are you? Uh, today we will be looking at the final plan of aggregate planning and this will be the last video for this topic. And uh, you can see my other two videos which explains plan one and plan two. Uh, so in this final video we will be looking at plan three. So what is plan three? So plan three basically observes to vary the workforce by hiring and laying off workers and the production rate will be equal to the forecasted demand for each month. And this final statement uh, indicates that it's using a chase strategy, which is different from a level strategy. So to understand this more clearly, let's just compare this to plan two and how is it different from it. So in my last video, we had this sheet and we are going now we're going to be comparing how it's similar and different from each other. So plan two, plan two, they wanted to maintain a constant workforce at a level necessary to meet the lowest demand and to meet all the demand above this level by subcontracting. So how is it this how is this different from plan three? So in plan three, again, a striking difference is that instead of maintaining a constant workforce, we want to vary the workforce by hiring and laying off. And how do we hire and lay off people? We do that by comparing the production rate and forecasted demand and making sure that they are equal. So uh, to understand this more clearly, we'll be using the help of an example and we are borrowing the numbers from here as well. So if we look here, we have our months, we are following the six month period from Jan to June and we have our forecasted demand, that's the expected demand and our daily production rate, which we have received from the production days that we have here, 900 divided by 22, which is 41, which is carried forth uh, over here. And then we have the basic production cost. Uh, now, how do we find the basic production cost? It's really simple. We have the formula here that is um, forecasted demand multiply for that month, multiplied by labor hours to produce a unit, how many hours to produce one unit, multiplied by the average pay rate per hour. So for January, if you're considering January, we're going to be taking our forecasted demand, which is going to be 900, right, which is shown here. Multiply that times 1.6, and how do we get that? That's from our little sheet again, which has made its cameo appearance. Last, uh, probably. So um, it's going to be 1.6. How? Because we are following this statement. Labor hours to produce a single unit, it's 1.6 hours. So we're going to take that 1.6, multiply it by the average pay rate per hour. That is uh, this one, this right here. Take that, multiply all of this together, which is going to be 14,400. So do that for everything for each month. Uh, so, and in that case, on all those cases, the labor has to produce and the paid per hour would probably be the same unless mentioned otherwise. So that's how we find the basic production cost. And now this here is the main um, workings of plan three coming into use. So what do we mean by extra cost of increasing production and extra cost of decreasing production? So this basically is following the statement here. They want to make sure that for each month, the production rate will be equal to the forecasted demand. Now, how do we do that? So let's just forget January for a second and let's just go to February. So in February, uh, we used to produce 41 per day in Jan. And that suddenly reduced to 39 per day in Feb. So we can see that it has decreased from 41 to 39. How much has it decreased from? It's decreased two units, right? From 41 to 39, 41 minus 39, that's two units, right? So keep that two in mind. And we have the sheet making an appearance again. This is kind of like your... Uh, treasure map, this can help you navigate your way around uh, any, of any of the plans. So if you look in the last two statements, they've given you the cost of increasing daily productions, that's $300 per unit, and cost of decreasing daily productions, that's $600 per unit. So if we look at Feb, the month of Feb, you can see that the daily production rate has decreased from 41 to 39. Right, so it's decreased production, keep that in mind. So you take that two, this 41 minus 39, that two, two, and you multiply that with $600 per unit because we have cost of decreasing the reductions. We're decreasing from 41 to 39, and it's going to be two 
multiplied by 600, which is going to be 1200. Right, so basically the idea is that in Jan we used to produce 41, but in Feb we don't need 41, we need 39. So we're decreasing a production cost, right? We don't, we're not going to carry forth uh, into Feb, we're not going to carry forth from Jan to Feb. We just need 39 in Feb and that's all we need. And the rest too, it's going to decrease a cost of production, right? The extra cost of production. And that would probably mean to lay off workers or lay off part-time workers or anything. So that whole cost of decreasing the daily production is going to be 600. And since we're decreasing it by two units, you multiply that by two, and that's going to be 1,200. So let's just look at Jan. So what, what are we doing in Jan? So in Jan, we, ha we are assuming that there is no change in production from the previous month that is in December. So there is no change happening, so we don't have to do anything. So that's just going to be no. All right, and now and let's go to March. What's happening in March? So we in Feb we used to produce thirty nine, and now in March it has decreased to thirty eight. So we can see that our production rate is decreasing by one unit. So the cost of decreasing the production is going to be the difference between those two months. Thirty nine minus thirty eight. That's one. One multiplied by six hundred again because we are decreasing, and the cost of decreasing the production is going to be $600 per unit. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 600, which is 600. And now what is happening in April? I think things have turned for the better or for the worse. We don't know, but probably for the better. Because in April, uh, from 38, we are jumping on to 57. So that means we are increasing our cost of production. And it has increased by 19 units because 57 minus 38 is 19. So we're going to put this here. 19. So it's not going to come here. Why? Because here it's not um, decreasing. It's increasing from 38 to 57. So, 30, so 57 minus 38 is going to be a 19. And you multiply this times. You don't take 600. No. We take 300. Why? Because this states that it's cost of increasing daily production rate. So since we're increasing the production, the cost to the cost to increase the production unit by a unit is going to be 19 multiplied by 300. I hope you got that. Okay. Uh, 19 multiplied by 300 is going to be 5,700. All right. And from April to May, it's increasing again by 11 units because from 57 to 68, that's 11. So 11 times not 600 but yes your very own 300 which is going to be 3300 okay in june we're kind of slacking off here so from 68 we're going to 55 and that's going to be 13 units it's decreasing by 13 units so you come back here from where we started 13 multiplied by 600 which is going to be 7,800, right? So we're done with the six months and now we're going to be finding the total cost for increasing production over here and the total cost for decreasing production. So once you add this up, 5,700 uh, plus um, 3,300, it's going to be $9,000. And your cost for decreasing productions in total is going to be 9600 And the total cost, it's going to be... So for the total, to find the total cost of plant 3, it's going to be really simple. So first, you find... So there are two ways you can find this out. So first, you can find the total cost of the basic production cost, all of this dollar amount. So that's going to be a sum of $99,200. And then your total cost is going to be the sum of all this. So 99200 plus your extra cost of production uh, plus your extra cost of decreasing production. All that is going to sum up to 117800 dollars. All right. And the other way is to, um, so as we went from top to bottom so you can go from side to side so you can go for, okay so this side's for for you can go by month wise basically what i was trying to say is so you can go fourteen thousand four hundred 
for Jan because there's no change from, from December. There's nothing to compare it to. So it's just 14400 And then in Feb, it's going to be 11200 plus 1200 which is going to be 12400 I don't have super math skills. I just found the sum of all of these things before. So I'm not just blabbering it out. It's all right. And, it's, and I'm seeing it from somewhere else. And I've already worked it out. And then for month of March, it's going to be 12,800 plus 600, which is going to be 13,400. And then for April, the same way, 19,200 plus 5,700, which is going to be 24,900 dollars, dollars, dollars. And same here, which is going to be 24,000. Plus 3,300, which is going to be 27,300 dollars. And finally, in June, 17,600 plus 7,800, which is going to be 25,400 dollars. And all this will sum to uh, 1 lakh 17,800. So it's definitely your call which um, how you want to find the total of it. And this concludes plan 3. And... Alright, so after finding the total cost of plan 3, we can compare it to our other plans. So this is plan 3, it's going to be 1,70,800 for plan 2, it was um, $105,152 and for plan 1, it was 108450 over here. Uh, so this, these are from my previous videos, you can check that out. So after comparing the total cost of all these three plans, you have to choose strategy which which cost low, lower for you. So that's comparing all these three, it's going to be plan two with uh, 105,152. So of course there are many other strategies that can be considered in a problem like this. So, uh, but you have, but again, using the cost is more uh, prominent among um, officials so that's about it so this concludes my video for agri planning part 3 this is the final video for this topic and I want to thank you for uh, thank you all for watching this video and uh, just like any other time please subscribe like this video share anything is uh, nice and until the next video bye